Alrighty. Hello, everybody. My name is the Moped Viking, and I am here today with a very special game that my friend showed me, and uh, it's still in beta, closed beta to be exact. Uh, I could not find any user agreements or EULers or EULA, whatever you want to call them. So, and I've also kind of seen some other gameplay of this, so I'm taking my chances. Uh, yeah. So this is the game called Warframe. It's a third-person shooter, uh, PvE, free-to-play kind of game, and for a f don't let that turn you off. For a free-to-play game, it is surprisingly good. Uh, I kind of shit my pants when I start playing it. Um, so, the kind of... The general gist of the game is pretty much you're these special soldiers, uh, to now or something they're called, and they wear the special ancient armor, which uh, you get to customize. It has modules. Your armor does all your weapons do. You can customize the colors. Uh, different kinds of armors have different abilities, uh, and you and up to four players uh, do like these cool uh, kind of instances or missions together. And um, it's pretty cool. It reminds me of uh, Global Agenda, Hellgate London, and um, Blade Symphony, which is a game by the people that made Dystopia for the Source Engine. It's a mod. Uh, I don't know if many people have ever played it. It's a really good first-person shooter. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of it feels like a mix between all those. And uh, it's surprisingly really good. So anyway, we'll jump right in, and since I'm having trouble really explaining myself about this game, I'll just have you take a look. So yes, here we go. Warframe. Penis ship. Oh, that guy's pinky. I wonder who that guy is. Alright. So you're going to get, you're going to see pretty much you're going to see pretty much exactly what this game is. Step by step, pretty much. Excuse me, there is a little frame rate issue. I apologize for that. Um... So I think the, the levels are randomly generated with kind of they all like they all have different objectives. Sure, some of the same, but there's also plenty of different kinds of levels I found. Um, sorry about that. That was a text message. Uh, and uh, this is one of the earlier ones when you're um, fighting the Grenier, which are kind of like some modified humans. Like I really don't know what they are. But they're they're pretty probably the easiest enemies to fight so far when you first play. Uh, later on, you'll see uh, Infected, which I hope I can maybe do more videos and show you because I like fighting Infected, especially with this shotgun that I just bought. Um, so, um, unlike most free play games, yes, you can use money to buy uh, in-game currency, or you can just play the game and actually get kind of a lot of money from just selling uh, useless kind of modifications and stuff. And permanently, there is no temporary, like, you don't buy things for seven days or 30 days. Every time you buy something, you buy it permanently, which is what I really like. And it's not hard to buy stuff. Just, you know, an hour or so of gameplay and you can buy a new weapon. You'll find blueprints to build your own weapons, which are like special ones. Every time you log in, uh, or not every time, but every time, Every three times that I've logged in, I've gotten kind of like a RTD, roll the die kind of thing, where it just randomly kind of uh, scrolls through a bunch of blueprints and then gives me one. And so I'm working on building a really cool sword. Speaking of swords, um, I'll try to show you the sword. The sword is also a very... This is why I think it reminds me of Blade Symphony. Shit. Shit. Okay, that was kind of fail on my part, but the game has lots of like fluidity and stuff, and I'm 
most of the time, I can get some pretty cool stuff going on. Oh, oh shit. So I don't know. It doesn't seem to be working so well for me this time. But yeah, you can chop them in half, you can do a bunch of sore things, and you can, uh... So pretty much, if you do damage, or get kills with your weapons, you webble, you, you webble, <laughs> you webble web your weapons, uh, when you do damage or get kills with your weapons, even assists, just doing damage in general, you level them up, as you can see at the bottom right. I'm right now I'm using the shotgun, which is my favorite so far. Uh, if I switch my pistol, you see that that white bar is almost done, so I'm going to level it up pretty soon. Uh, the sword doesn't have its white own, own white bar, its own progress bar. Uh, and then at the top you see Loki, which is the character, uh, the suit that I'm wearing, and you see that that is leveled up as well. Um, so, a lot of the game types just kind of consist of go here, grab this object, and then escape. And that's, you know, a lot, I think it would get kind of boring, um, but surprisingly, I'm oh, sorry, I felt like it was going to get boring, but it actually surprised me. And, uh, I've been, I've been playing pretty much non-stop since I've got it today. Um, you saw right there I leveled up my pistol to level 3. I don't really use it that much. <laughs> I was using my sword a lot more and then um, decided just to go with the shotgun when I bought it. Um, also there's abilities. I haven't unlocked all mine for the suit. Um, there's like invisibility. There's a one of a modification you can pick up and sell if you don't want it, which makes good money. If you uh, sell them a lot at once, and then that was invisibility, right? You just kind of barely saw. And then you can also, with the Loki suit, you can have a decoy that shoots at people, really takes their attention off. Um, I don't know. It's just a really awesome game. <laughs> the AI is pretty cool because if you get in a fight, you can kind of run around a corner, and they'll still be looking over there, putting fire. They'll try to come around, but you can sneak past them. So you can actually. Um, so it's just Barton right now. Okay, it's just me and my friend now. Which is good, because that's all I want. So, um... It's cool, because you can have stealth gameplay... ...if that's what you want. It's a pretty dang cool game. Yeah, you can also slide, you know, it's just, it's just a lot about it. It's just freaking awesome. Unfortunately, I'm not playing on the highest settings. I can, with no frame rate drops when I'm playing, although I'm using crafts right now, but I'm on, the, I'm on medium settings. Uh, I can play on high settings, but it just burns up my computer. Uh, makes the top of my keyboard really, really hot, so uh, I, before I can fix that, I'm just going to have to play on medium for a while, which is unfortunate. Oh well. Um, the game looks really good. I think it's on... Uh, I don't remember the name of the engine. It's not Unreal. It's, uh, can't remember the name of the engine. It was a new one that I've never heard of before, so... Looks really nice, though. I think, the, honestly, the concept... Um, I forget what it's called, but when you first load, like, a loading a map or the textures are loading and stuff, it kind of takes a while. That happens in this. Not as much as Unreal, but it kind of happens as well. Oh man, you probably have no idea what's going on, crap, if you're watching this. Oh shit. <laughs> so yeah, it's really cool. Um, definitely my friend. Definitely, because it's just... Um, just such a smart idea. Okay, so now, someone, somewhere, blew open the windows, so now we're losing oxygen, which drains our shields. So we have to get to these panels, which are kind of multi-purpose. They unlock doors. Oh, it looks kind of like this Lucifer symbol. Um, yeah, they unlock doors, they unlock a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, uh, when enemies, it's only when enemies trigger them somehow. So if an enemy goes up to the panel and locks down the area, or if they blow open a hole in their own ship, that's what happens. So then you gotta hurry up and unlock them. 
usually in the middle of combat. Alright, we got this. And these are, obviously, you can tell. <laughs> Get sick. So yeah, you can sprint, you can run while charging your melee. Oh, it looks like we're done. So yeah, this is Warframe. It's a fucking amazing game. I recommend getting it, trying to get into the beta. They have a few websites that are giving out free codes. Uh, or just honestly pay $20. You get instantly into the beta, close beta of the beta. You get um, a bunch of in-game currency, which will permanently buy you a lot of stuff. In the long run, it's worth it. I mean, if you want to go ahead and not, sp it's twenty bucks for just the very first founder one, ninety bucks, and then like a hundred and ninety. Uh, and the ninety buck one, you actually get a new frame, a new armor thing. And uh, anyway, it's just you get kind of, it's not really worth it, the ninety and up. But the twenty dollar one, you get into all the betas, and you, uh, yeah, and then you get a right here. It's called platinum. Which I don't think is very original. I think there's a lot of games that use platinum as the name. Um, so this is from my pistol. A little fire rate because it feels like it fires too slow. Anyway, um, yeah, Warframe. Take a look at it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the little video. This wasn't really much of a gameplay. This was more of just kind of a filler. I don't really know. Anyway, this is Moped Viking. Have a nice day.